Hi, I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved, and if not, know that I love you. Okay, so I'm going to be, well first, all of the personal readings have been completed. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is in the description box. <coughs> if you want to follow me on TikTok, that's also in the description box. Okay, and that is all I need to say. <laughs> so this is going to be where, or actually what's coming towards you that you may not see coming. We haven't done that in a while, so let's go ahead and do that. What is coming towards Divine Feminine that she may not see coming? I'm going to have to order a new deck soon because this one is just about done. <laughs> it is about done. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Wow. Okay. What you don't see coming is Divine Masculine offering you a big offer. Congratulations, Divine Feminine. Well, <laughs> Divine Feminine is like, not so fast. Divine Feminine is not really going to trust this offer. This has taken too long. Divine Feminine, I feel like, has went in another direction. What is the Page of Wands? <clears throat> yeah, I feel like she said what she was going to do. This is a conversation. She already told, I feel like this Divine Masculine, yeah, she's in a relationship with someone else. Told you. So she chose someone else. So is she going to accept this offer from Divine Masculine? That's a yes. Will it be immediately or will she make him wait? She's going to make him wait. <laughs> She's going to make him wait. Sorry, I don't mean to laugh, but I mean the energy that I feel with this Divine Feminine is that she's just like, you know, I waited on you so you can wait on me now. Like, I'm over it. I don't really care. I'm doing my thing. I'm I'm going towards my own happiness, right? And in this life, that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to heal your trauma. You're supposed to heal, be a better person, evolve. But don't let people walk all over you. I feel like um, whoever this is, this Divine Masculine, did just that. Told you. Ten of Swords. And Divine Feminine's like, no, you think you can just come back into my life and I'm just going to give up a relationship for you? I don't think so. No. I'm going to play this relationship out and see where we go. Yep. This is a, she's in a commitment. She's in a commitment. I feel like this is how the Divine Masculine is going to be feeling. Like, damn. Confused. Yeah. Like, wait a second, I told you that I'm single and that I want to reconcile. Why don't you want me? This is someone who's oh, very egotistical. Yeah, so now they're going to be stuck. What's weird about this is that this Divine Masculine, I feel like, <clears throat> is the same Divine Masculine that I keep picking up in the other readings that has been stuck, right, for so long on their own recognizance. But now they're going to be stuck because of Divine Feminine. Because Divine Feminine is like, no, I'm not just going to give up my life for you. And now they're going to be in the same energy that they were in before, that they were consciously willing, making a choice to be stuck. They're still going to be stuck. This is, this is, <laughs> yep. But the good thing about it is they're going to realize that something has to change. Okay. Okay. This may uh, cause their transformation, like inner transformation, like soul transformation. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, this person may have been very immature. Yeah, they put you in a third party. But now they're going to be in a... Well, I don't want to say they're going to be, they're not in a third party, but now they're the third party. This really feels, 
and I didn't want to say this before because I didn't want to come across as like insensitive, but I have to get the message out. This looks like this is their karma. <clears throat> this is going, they're going to be put in the same exact situation in the same space that you were put in. They're going to be now a, the third party. This is going to give them a lot of stress and anxiety now. Yep, tower. They're not going to like it. But I don't feel like you're going to be cheating with them. I feel like you're going, they're going to be waiting on you. So that's, yep, they're going to be waiting on you. And it's going to piss them off. This person still is giving childish energy. Like, how dare you? How dare you get pissed off because you were put in the same position that you put Divine Feminine? Told you it's that same damn air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Guarantee you it's a Libra. You're going to get through this, but they need to work on being single. This person in this energy is definitely going to be single, but... This energy feels like this person just thought that once they became single that you would just drop your whole life and just run to them. And I feel like they're going to get a big wake up call that that's not going to happen. Yeah, Spirit is saying yes, that's exactly what they thought. Watch. What did Divine Masculine think that Divine Feminine was going to do when they got news that they were actually separated and or single. What did Divine Masculine... This is what Divine Masculine thought that you were going to do. Oh! Okay, yes. Come be with me. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. I told you this is what they thought. They thought that you were just going to reunite, give them everything. <laughs> It's not the way the cookie is going to crumble. Lovers, this is a hard, this is going to be a hard lesson for someone and they're going to be pissed off. So when Divine Masculine realizes that Divine Feminine is not going to drop her whole life and run to him, then what? How is Divine Masculine going to react? <clears throat> he's going I feel like he's going to try to end your relationship maybe spiritually maybe doing something energetically um hopefully not spell work but I I did see that not that long ago so but this is definitely giving like spiritual um vibes so I definitely feel like he's going to be hidden right this also represents subconscious in the spiritual realm trying to end this relationship that you're in to bring you back to him yeah so that you can have a new beginning right so that you guys can have the ace of swords and you can walk away from this other person <clears throat> told you so that you can be single so be prepared for this this person is definitely like this is someone who's very egotistical and thinks that they can just get what they want when they want it they have this this is giving like <sighs> i don't want to say that this is like i don't know because on one hand i feel like this person's energy is very selfish yes but on the other hand, it's like they know that you're supposed to come into union. So they think that this is OK for them to do because they're like, well, she's supposed to be with me anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't matter. But these are people's lives. So it does. Right. But I don't feel like this person is taking that into consideration. They're just thinking about, you know, union and what they want and knowing that they feel like, well, this is what we're supposed to be doing. So. I'm tired. I'm not going to wait and all this stuff. But yet you made Divine Feminine wait. Told you. It's like, no, we need to get together now. I'm ready now. Ace of Cups. Divine Masculine. Told you. 
Like, the Divine Feminine isn't even out here. She needs to... Long gone, it feels. So, this is what's coming. What you don't see coming. Anything that Divine Feminine needs to be mindful of. Conflict. What's the conflict? This air sign is going to create chaos in your relationship. Because they want to win you back. So what should this Divine Feminine do or these Divine Feminines do? What is the best course of action? Listen, this is the spiritual realm. Listen to your subconscious. This is listening to your intuition. Wow, the sun. Wow. This is like the moon and the sun. Hermit Virgo in the middle of the moon and the sun. This this is, wow, reconciliation. This is, what should she resist? Resist any, so Spirit is saying you need to reconcile because this is your person and resist any stress and or anxiety because you're going to be stuck. Or you are stuck. You're stuck in what regard? She's stuck in what regard? with these two individuals, I feel like. I feel like your divine masculine. So is the universe backing this? I really do feel like the universe is backing this connection. Yeah, the universe wants you to get through this. They want you to forgive this person. They want you to stop being guarded and move forward with this person. They know that he juggled you before but it's like time to move on, I just heard. It's faded. Time to move forward. Told you. Queen of Wands, Injustice. Now you're on the board. Divine Feminine. This is giving like in between worlds. Like... You're very connected to the 3D and the 5D. Like, this feels like 3D to me. This feels like 5D. Use both of those to make a decision, right? So this is like, use discernment, but also listen to your soul, your intuition. What is your intuition telling you to do? Of course, make sure that your boundaries are being respected. But what is your intuition telling you to do? So what may be a block for Divine Feminine that she needs to be made aware of? What could be a block from accepting this offer? You choosing a past life soulmate to have a family with. But this person is coming in as toxic. And you know this. What What is toxic about this person? This is a water sign who's toxic. How are they toxic? They're very mentally stressful for you. You could have broken up with this person a lot before or before. Yeah, they're very childish when it comes to money as well. Mm -hmm. You may pay for a lot of stuff. That looks like. I 
Okay, so what is coming towards Divine Masculine that they don't see coming? What is coming towards Divine Masculine that they don't see coming? Hierophant energy. This is having a traditional relationship. Healing. I need to shuffle again. Divine Masculine does not see this coming. So this is a massive transformation. I keep pulling that for both counterparts. So this is healing something and ending. So what is ending or what is changing? This is this is a major arcana. This is something taking too long. So what is this massive change? Because he's taking action. You're taking action. To work on moving forward into the King of Cups energy. So you are working towards opening your heart chakra, being more um, emotional, more connected to your heart space. Mirroring Divine Feminine, who's coming in as the Queen of Cups. Why is the Ten of Swords here? I feel like Divine Masculine misses Divine Feminine. I told you. <laughs> he does. Tremendously. I just heard I feel lost without you. I feel imbalanced. I feel imbalanced without you. This person could be newly single or working on being single. Is this Divine Masculine single? Nope, not yet. They're having conflict with money. Are they working on being single? They're stuck. That's that air sign. Told you. You know this, I feel like, intuitively. You already know this. They're stuck. So when is this person, is this person, when is this person going to be single? Because this feels like this person is going to be single. Um, this is stuck energy. Jeez. This feels like um, this person is going to be single. I need a new deck. <laughs> Is this air sign going to be single soon? I know it. They told me in four months. October came out plus two could be anywhere from what month will this person be single anywhere from July to September but it may take until the end of the year yeah, it may take until the end of the year because of the stress here <laughs> And I feel like that stress is money. Yeah, they're stuck. Told you. Yep. <sighs> okay, so that is what I have in regards to that. What should Divine Feminine be focusing on at this time? They want me to pull a moon card for Divine Masculines. 
when they'll be single. They keep, they're literally screaming in at me. And if you guys are readers or psychic, you know when I say they're screaming it at me. What it's like? Oh my God, you can't ignore messages. Okay. What do you need to release? Is that message for Divine Feminine or Divine Masculine? Is that for the Feminine or the Masculine? Is this message for the Feminine or the Masculine? What do they need to release? This feels like both of you. What? So what do they need to release? They both need to be single. They both need to release water signs. Oh, Lord. Anything else you want to say about this? So when is this going to occur? Or when is, when is the Divine Masculine going to be single? Have faith in your dreams. A new romantic cycle begins in New Moon in Libra. How fitting. <laughs> Let's look up when that is. I think I keep say, seeing this over and over and over, if I'm not mistaken. I think I keep seeing this over and over and over. New Moon in Libra. Why is this? This is a horrible moon phase thing that I got on my calendar or on my computer. Let's see. What was that card? New moon in Libra. Yeah, I've looked this up. October the 14th. Right. That's when. October the 14th. So be prepared. Divine Masculine. Anything else you want to say about this? Be bold and make the first move. Conclusions are within reach. What is the first move that Divine Masculine needs to be making at this time? Oh, too much. What does Divine Masculine need to be making at this time? The move that he needs to be making. Air sign energy. Taking action to move forward. Potentially move out. This may feel like a burden, but listen to your heart. Don't worry about being disappointed. The fool. This is a new beginning. This is your freedom here. Think about Divine Feminine. This is faded. This is your Ten of Cups, Six of Pentacles. This is what you've been waiting on. You're going to get out of this stuck energy. So how are they getting out of this stuck energy? What's going to transpire to get them out of this stuck energy? My stomach is like killing me. They're getting through some kind of storm in regards to what? In regards to what? <coughs> King of Cups came out again. <laughs> Could be opening up your heart chakra. You're watching the Divine Feminine. This feels like a burden. Being patient, waiting on something, waiting on Divine Feminine to be single, but instead you're going to end up single first. I feel like you're trying to change fates or something. Yeah, Spirit agrees. You're trying to like take control of like both of your <laughs> destinies, but that's not that's not going to happen. So, you can't change, right, you can't change, this is a false belief, this is something you believe that's not true, 
Spirit is saying, you can't do this. This is what I mean by this person is very egotistical. Like, who do you think you are to think that you can, you have that much power? No, there's no way. <sighs> okay, what does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? What does Divine Feminine need to focus on at this time? Just living your life, being abundant, being present. Stop trying to control anything. And I, I received, because this is toxic, right? When you try to control things, everything that is meant for you is coming in, in um, the fall. I, I heard October, but I got this epiphany the other day, too. I got this epiphany the other day and it really made me relax. And I feel like I really need to share it because I feel like it'll make a lot of you relax, right? The epiphany I got, which some of you may think it's common sense, but if you're a control freak like me, it really just kind of hit me like a big, huge epiphany, like a big, huge breakthrough. And it was like, I was like, all of this time I've been trying to, you know, come together with someone and have a family and like, you know, really make things work. And I've always tried to control everything in my life, right? Because my life has always been so out of control, even as a child. So that was my trauma response is trying to control everything, right? Because my life had always been out of control. And it just kind of hit me like, you can't control your fate. You can't control your destiny. What is meant for you is going to come no matter what. And yeah, you're right. We can create our own reality. True. Okay. You can create your own reality and manifest things. But I feel like those things were already on your path to begin with. If you have the ability to manifest things, those were going to come to you regardless. Right. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. If you're unawakened, if you're just walking around this earth, right, just doing your thing, going to your job, being on autopilot, doing the same thing, same routine, get up, brush your teeth, go to bed, go to work, blah, 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 blah. Same thing, same thing, right? Over and over, like Groundhog's Day. You're not going to create your own reality. You're not going to manifest anything because you're not even doing any soul work when you're in that unconscious state of sleep. Basically, you're a sleepwalker, right? You're not doing any work. You're not healing. You're, you're not trying to manifest anything. You're just living your life right? And doing your thing and focusing on nothing spiritual, just completely on materialism, on earthly, whatever's on the earthly plane. But if you are doing your work and healing, when you start to co-create with the universe, when you start to create your own reality, those are things that have always been on your path that were always meant for you, right? That's what I mean by that. Like, you can't ever get something that was never meant for you to begin with. That's what my epiphany was. So I was like, you know what? Instead of trying to control anything, like, why am I trying to control anything? I'm just going to pray about it. I'm going to continue to do my spiritual work. And I'm going to, you know, continue to do my work with you guys and help others and teach others and, you know, talk to them about my epiphanies and just keep it moving right? Try to be the best person that I can be, help people, uh, you know, if I'm able to help them, meaning like, you know, homeless people, I help people all the time, um, who I'm guided to help. Um, I'm just going to, you know, do that and have fun and enjoy my life. That was something that I received a message like, you need to enjoy your life, right? So I do. And everybody knows that has been with me for a long time. You guys know I'm a homebody. I am a hermit. I am a Virgo. <laughs> So I am the literal hermit, okay? I will stay in my house for days, and that is not healthy, okay? I have always been that way, um, and it's because being out, I have a lot of social anxiety because I can feel people's energy, and it really bothers me a lot, especially when it's low vibe, okay? Because trying to transmute that and alchemize that is really difficult. So I like to stay home and stay in my own bubble, but the message I got was, no, you need to start getting out and having experiences, right? And living your life because that is what you came here to do, to live, right? To enjoy, to have a human experience 
and, you know, just to learn lessons and, you know, come across people on your journey um, and just have fun. So I realized, you know what, that's, that's true. I'm just going to live my life. I'm going to make plans, but if the plans don't, you know, I have long-term plans and short-term plans, but if they don't, if I don't make them, then it wasn't intended to make them, right? I'm going to try, I'm going to strive for it. But if I don't accomplish them, then it just wasn't, it's not in the cards. It's not in the cards <laughs> at this time or at that time. So I'm just going to go with the flow. I'm going to make sure that I am, you know, teaching my kids to be the best people that they can be, um, becoming the best person that I can be. I'm just going to let go of the control and just, see what abundance comes to me. That's literally the epiphany that I had. And I have felt so much better, like mentally, spiritually, just letting go of this control. I'm like, you know what? Whoever's meant to be in my life is going to stay. Whoever's not will float away, right? Eventually they'll go away. If people are not meant for you, if they're not meant to be on your path, they're not going to stay, right? Your soul tribe's not going to stay if they're not meant for you. Your soul tribe, whoever's meant for you, will stay in your company. They will enjoy being in your company, you know, and they'll be a part of your life indefinitely. Um, but if they're not meant to be, then they're not. So, um, it is what it is. <laughs> Who was triggered by me saying that? I just saw triggered. Somebody's going to be triggered or somebody is triggered by that. This is somebody here who wants a family home and commitment or someone that's confused or that I'm going to be dreaming about. Leo. Someone. This is someone at a distance. Okay. Anyways. Wow. That's weird. Okay. So what should divine masculine be focusing on? Yeah, so basically, I have just let go of control, which it feels very freeing and very good. It's taking me this long. <laughs> okay, karma balance justice. What is this in regards to for the divine masculine? This is what divine masculine needs to focus on. So creating self-love for themselves, okay, being fair, being balanced, right, being a good person, I feel like, this is so, what this is, this is a storm that they're going, they're in a storm, they're in the middle of a storm, but the storm is showing you self-worth, divine masculine, and what you should expect in life from other people, your spirit guides are here trying to help you, this, you're definitely connected to an earth sign or you are an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dreaming about this person. What is the abundance? This is that sun strength confusing confusion. What is Divine Masculine confused about? You need to get into your power because you are confused. You're avoiding confusion. So I feel like there's something here that is creating confusion. Like when you become empowered, you get confused about what? About what? About if you should go towards probably divine feminine because your ego starts to creep in and you start to have a lot of doubt because you're guarded. So then you stay with your <clears throat> family, home, and commitment, but you still think about this feels like divine feminine to me. Right. And then you start stalking and spying divine feminine on divine feminine. Right. And then you start, maybe, maybe you're even spying and doing research about union. Like, are we supposed to be in union? Like, yeah, this is a yes. <laughs> You're sticking to your comfort zone when you need to be ending karmic cycles. This is going to happen in the fall. What's happening in the fall? What's coming in the fall? Change. Fall and winter. 
Something will be harvested, then a rebirth will happen in winter. This is letting go of toxic patterns here. You're going to have some type of regret. What's the clarity that's going to be given about a water sign? What's the clarity? Forgiveness. Or an apology. You're going to release this person. So who are they giving a, a love offer to? This is like, I feel like you're going to apologize, maybe even forgive a water sign and be like, you know what, I'm just, I can't do this anymore. You're going to be giving, your twin is at a distance from you. You're going to be taking action towards your twin. Your twin's going to resist you a bit, but you have chemistry and passion with this person. Do not get into your ego when they do this. I feel like you get into your ego when you feel rejected by them. You turn into like a dickhead. <laughs> Sorry for using that language and calling you a dickhead, but that could be something that they call you. Or maybe you call yourself that. Like, yeah, I can be a real dickhead, but <laughs> I don't even use that word. So that's definitely not something that I have said. <sighs> what is the um, blocks that Divine Masculine needs to pay attention to? This is the same song and dance. The same story that I have been seeing for I don't know how long. I want to say years. Who knows? I don't know. There's some kind, something about your mind, something about messages in your dreams and like your obsessive thoughts are going to get in the way. Your ancestors are here trying to help you with this, though. And so is Pluto. You could be a Plutonian person trying to help you change here. Yeah. You and your twin are mirroring one another. This is why you need, this will give you clarity. You and your twin are mirroring each other. So the mirror effect is going to give you some kind of, the mirror effect is going to give you some kind of clarity over this past life situation. I feel like you're also with someone from a past life. And so this is going to give you some kind of clarity. Yeah, and it's going to give you the courage to change as well, even though you keep trying to avoid it. So what happens if they keep trying to avoid taking action? If Divine Masculine keeps trying to, to avoid taking action, what's going to happen in the fall? Because I feel like something is going to happen in the fall if this person keeps trying to avoid taking action. <laughs> you may go through the dark night of the soul again. You're going to go through the dark night of the soul again. And if anybody has ever went through the dark night of the soul, I'm going to tell you now, that ain't for the, for the week. This is a very brutal time. Who is that message for? Who's going to go through the dark night of the soul again if they don't do what they're supposed to do? Aquarius energy. This is for your own healing as well. We have Aquarius here. Dark Knight of the Souls are brutal. We have fire, water, and air. Earth and air. Earth. Yeah. So this looks like everybody's here. If this is specifically for Divine Masculines, let me ask. Let me get clarity on that. Because, Lord, I don't want to go through this again. <laughs> Who are you specifically talking to? Is this just for Divine Masculine or is this for Masculine and Feminine? Because I feel like I've been doing my work. And a lot of the, most of the Feminines have been doing their work as well.
I hate to say it, guys, ladies and gents, it's both of you. Spirit told me it was both before, <laughs> but I didn't want to believe it because. <laughs> Okay, I'm scared. Um, this is a very brutal period. If anybody has ever went through the dark night of soul, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you have, if you're not sure if you have, this is a time period where you feel a lot of negative, heavy, dark energy around you. You have to, like, you're literally diving into the deepest parts of your own soul. And this is meant for your evolution. It's meant for you to shine a light on your own negative toxic actions for you to have accountability for you to have um a breakthrough for you to have an awakening but it can cause depression um oh my god so if you don't if you refuse that's where you're headed if you refuse to do what you're supposed to do that's where you're headed. And this is going to be to create your own self-love. Okay. So if you think you are doing the right thing, okay, then you don't have to worry about it. If you feel like you're doing the right thing, if you feel like you are having, holding, hold, I was going to say holding accountability, <laughs> having accountability for your own actions, then you don't have anything to worry about. If you're still doing your work, all that stuff. But if you've neglected your work, if you are not holding yourself accountable if you're like you know what f my twin or f this whole journey that's buckle up strap up get ready okay because there's no going back when once you start a spiritual journey it's like neo taking the pill you're done there's no, and, and a lot of us can't control it okay i didn't control my spiritual awakening like <laughs> what's crazy is that I wasn't even in the spiritual community when I started my spiritual awakening, right? When I, when I became, when I went through, when I had my Kundalini awakening and all that kind of stuff, I didn't even know anything about it. I was uneducated on anything. I wasn't involved in the spiritual community whatsoever. When I started my journey, I just wanted to find peace. That's it, because I was miserable, right? I hated my life. I knew I was materialistic, and I was not at peace. I was drinking too much, going out, doing unhealthy behaviors. It's just not what I wanted to do anymore. And I s fell into this journey. <laughs> I fell into this journey because clearly it was part of my destiny. That's what I'm telling you. You can't escape your destiny or your fate. So there's no point in trying to control something because whatever is your path, whatever you're meant to do in this lifetime, that's who you are. You're going to get there eventually, okay? So you may try to keep controlling things. This could be what's causing the conflict in your life, trying to control everything. You're not in control of your life. You're just not. You're a passenger, You're a passenger. Sun, freedom. There's a lot of differences in opinion about this, but this is my opinion. If you don't agree, you don't have to agree, and that's fine. There's no, I don't feel like there's no wrong way, right? I feel like we're all here on our own path. So if you don't resonate with the message, then you just don't resonate with the message. But if you do then this is definitely your same path as well, right? You're going to find your strength and empowerment, but you also need to let go and have faith in your creator, right? But also have the courage to change. What life are you living right now? Are you mistreated? Right. This is faded. This is going to happen regardless if you want it or not. That's what Spirit is saying. You have no choice. You have no choice. And people <laughs> people are like, well, I thought we were given free will. Yeah, we're given free will, but your destiny is your destiny. Is your If your intuition is a map of your whole life and you're following your intuition, then whatever is coming towards you 
is faded is going to happen no matter what. I hope I explained that correctly. So you get what I'm saying, right? If you're choosing ego, you're just taking a detour. You're, you're going the long way. If you're consistently going intuitively, you're going to run into your fate. You're going to have things happen that are fated to happen, okay? That's what I'm saying. I hope I explained that correctly. So do we have free will? Yes. But if you're not choosing intuition, you're choosing e ego, you're just taking the long way because ego is the wrong choice. Intuition is the right choice. So whenever you choose intuitively, you're choosing your own fate and destiny. This is why you came here. And why you came here is to forgive your twin and eventually come back to them. I just heard, take the, you're, you just took the long way home. I don't know who that is, but you're taking the long way home. Because you're suffering in your past. This is your past life. And if you're with someone who you had a past life with, this is definitely for you. And whether it's a karmic or not, if you're with someone who is a past life, then you're living in your past life. You keep repeating this timeline. You keep repeating that timeline, that past karma. Why do you keep doing this? Because they're confused. Spirit is saying because you're confused. Confused about what? about who to be with. Why are they confused about who to be with? I feel like you know. You know. You think you're confused on who to be with, but you're not. When you wake up at 2 or 3 in the morning, where does your mind go? If you drink, when you drink, where does your mind go? Who do you want in that moment? When you're when you're high vibrational, where does your mind go? When you're feeling good about yourself and you're experiencing fun things and you're having fun, where does your mind go? That's the decision. That's who you need to be with. When you're alone and you're obsessively thinking, where, who are you thinking about? You're thinking about Divine Feminine. Told you. You can't make it up. But you're attached to a water sign who is actually a third party. You're an air sign attached to a third party water sign. And you're confused. All of what I just said, Divine Feminine is who you think about. And in the fall, you're going to be open to receiving this person. And you're going to have a lot of guilt. And you're going to think that you sabotaged union. There you are, divine masculine. Because you're going to be ending things in the fall. You're going to be ending karmic cycles. And you're going to see your self-worth and what you expect. And you're going to get wish fulfillment. You're just going to be, for a little while, in a place of doubt and lack about surrendering to this journey because of your damn ego. You are Divine Masculine. you and you're saying forgive me divine feminine forgives you forgive me for being less full drive by your house third eye clarity 
I understand that I just wanted to play the field, but we will be together one day. Let me go. No one else can have you. I feel like this was Divine Feminine saying, and he's like, no, no one else can have you. Somebody could have needed to end something with a Sagittarius, okay? Death to a Sagittarius, ending to a Sagittarius, not actual literal death. You guys know what I mean. Ending a Sagittarius energy, okay? Or one of you could be Sagittarius, one of you could be Scorpio. Yep, freedom. Somebody needs freedom. This is a high-vibing person. This person could have legal problems or have created legal problems for this other person, and this is why they're angry. The Libra is angry, could be doing spell work. Who is the Libra doing spell work on? I feel like it's on, oh Lord, on the Sagittarius. Who is the spell work being done on? Actually, let me use this other deck. Who is the spell work being done on from the Libra? By the Libra. This is a fire sign. This Libra is doing spell work on a fire sign or using a fire sign to do spell work on a water sign who won't let go. Won't let go of what? Of a karmic connection. This is this feels like divine feminine. Is this Divine Feminine? Yes, Hermit Virgo Energy. <clears throat> Why are they doing spell work on this person? I feel like this person could be Sagittarius, um, North Node, South Node, Moon Placement. Why are they doing spell work on this Sagittarius. It's coming in as a water sign. I'm healing so I can be my best for you. This person may be healing. This Libra could be healing. Who's healing? Who's healing? How are they? <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but like, how are you healing if you're doing spell work on people? How are, who's healing? Who just said this? It's a water sign. In an air sign. Yeah, it's a water sign and an air sign. So the water sign is healing too, but so is the air sign. Both of them are saying, I'm healing so I can be with my best for you. This is weird. This feels like competitive. This is competitive energy. I don't know. I've seen this before. I've seen this multiple times before. Wow, there's a lot of cards that just messed up in the deck. Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh, God. Immature masculine energy. This is an introverted person who is doing spell work because they're immature. Both of these men could be immature, to be honest. They're both introverted. They both have addictions. They don't deserve you. Spirit is saying neither one of these people deserve you at this time. And they both have addictions with lust. Like, this is sex addiction. They both bring out the worst in you. So, Spirit, what do you want to say about these two? Now Spirit is coming out saying, oh, let me talk about it. Let me talk to them. <laughs> Forgive me. You need to forgive both of them, Spirit is saying. I love you, marriage. So one of these people you could be married to. The other one may want to get married to you, okay? Both of them want you to forgive them. Both of them love you because you're a freaking angel. And you bring out the best in them. And both of them are saying, guess what? I can't live without you. You're an angel. How do I live without you? 
That's crazy. But Spirit is saying this isn't love. How they're acting isn't love. You're loving. You're bringing out the best in them. You're trying to get them to pray. You could be trying to connect them back to their higher power. They're not doing that. They're addicted to you. They're addicted to you. Meanwhile, you're trying to, to get them back to God. And they don't care about it. They just care about having you. Oh, shit. I just dropped a bunch of cards. So let's see. <sighs> they could be a tarot reader or you could be a tarot reader or they could be having, um, getting messages from a tarot reader. They've tried cutting cords or you have. They're saying, I, I'm sorry, I look at your your photos. What is the no? What is the no? Spirit, what is the no? They're depressed. The reason why they're not um, why they're not expressing their truth is because they're depressed. They're obsessed. They may not be talking to you at this time. You definitely have a past life with this person. Somebody could be single that's connected to you and their sacral chakra is blocked. Their sacral chakra is blocked. This could, um, this person is saying, I deserve you. This feels like a new energy. Who's this? <laughs> this person is a divine masculine. Who is this person? Is this the air or the water sign, or is this someone completely new? This feels new to me. This could be a Capricorn connected to a Leo, or this is a Capricorn and a Leo. Or this is a Leo that's obsessed with you. Their sacral chakra is blocked. They're saying, you know what? Forget these fools. <laughs> I deserve you and I'm single. But their sacral chakra is blocked. They claim to be happy, but they're not. This person acts like they're happy, but they're not happy. They're stressed out about money. Twin flame. This is a life partner. They, they are a twin flame, but I don't feel like they're your twin flame, if that makes sense. Because Spirit is saying they're a life partner. I didn't even know Spirit's like, there's a, a card stuck under there. I didn't even see that card until Spirit told me to lift that card up. This person is a life partner. They're coming in as a divine masculine because they are a twin, but they're not your twin. So this is like a high-level soulmate, okay? This person's sacral chakra is what they're stressed about money. They're not really happy even though they try to portray to be. They feel like they deserve you. And Taurus here font. Leo Capricorn energy. So this person... Spirit, what do you got to say about this person? This is a life partner. 